Hey guys, it's Gary Simmons with Little G Outdoors, and I was just out here getting some fat wood off this pine tree, old dead pine tree here, and uh, I thought I'd make a video of it and show you people what uh, what fat wood is and how to get it for the ones that don't know. I know a lot of people know this, but uh, it's pretty pretty good skill to know, pretty good thing to know. So I'm gonna bring you over here and uh, show you what it looks like, show you where to find it, and show you how to harvest it. Stay with us. Alright guys, so I was over here at this dead pine tree and I was cutting off some branches trying to find some fat wood and uh, just right here where the branch meets the tree is usually where you'll find all your fat wood. All right. And if you look right here at the where the branch meets the main tree, if you see all this is really dark amber color looking, looking sappy kind of wood, that's what fat wood is. And this is actually the limb came off of it. If you see that right there, that real dark color, how it's kind of light over here, then real dark over here. You see it real good right there. That's fat wood. And you just cut it off. And then you look, and usually you smell it. It'll smell like a, like a house cleaner or something like that. So that's how you know you got fat wood if uh, you're colorblind like me. So uh, let's just go over here to one of these branches. Here's another branch I cut off and found some fat wood, but uh, we'll just go over here to this branch beside it. And there's just a little bit of fat wood in here. I'd say most of it was on the other side, but there's just a little bit right there right in the center of it and that's fat wood right there what I'll do is I'll take the saw probably cut it off somewhere in here probably if there's no fat wood on this end then I'll just you know throw this use this later and then uh, split this down get all this non fat wood out of here because I don't really want that right now I want the I want the good fat wood so uh, let's go over here to the stump and then I'll show you how to Okay do guys, I got a couple of pieces of fat wood here. I found some better pieces, so I'm going to use those for demonstration instead of that. It didn't have a whole lot in it, maybe enough about as big as my thumb. So uh, I found some pieces that had some more in it. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it down. I'm going to use my, my spin saw here, spin bow saw, and cut this down with. Give it about a foot or so. cut it off like that, I always want to check this piece here and check for fat wood because if there's more going up in here then that's more fat wood I could have. There's none in there. And check this end where I cut it off and there's none up in there. But there's some on this end so I'm going to just go ahead and split this down. So I've got the pieces worked down good enough, and you can see a little bit of fat wood up in here goes up into the tree here. Most of it's right there on the end though. I'd say what happened is most of it's still right there in that crop to that limb. And uh, we can take our saw back there and cut it off, but this will work for now. We can use this just fine. There's no problem with this at all.
trying to be careful not to blow the stuff everywhere. There we got some curls off of it, and I like to take the back of my knife and make some real fine shavings. Now there's two ways we can do this. We can hold our knife steady, which is what I like to do, and pull the ferro rod back. And for those of you that don't know, that uh, the fatwood is actually one of the best natural fire starters that you can use, and it's one of the easiest that you can use. You can harvest it off the land, or you can purchase it in stores offline and carry it in your bags like that. I usually carry some with me just in case I don't have any that I can find if I go to a certain place that doesn't have any pine. But uh, every once in a while I like to harvest it off the, off the land and then use it that way. So uh, I've got some shavings here and then I've got some hair shavings here. These will catch a spark a lot easier than these and I'll show you how I do that right now. What I like to do come over here and scrape my ferro rod. Not scrape it and throw sparks off of it, but scrape it and get some magnesium off of it. That's what I'll do if I'm having trouble. I'll bring my hair shavings over here by my magnesium. And then I'll That's how you use your fat wood. That's how you process it and light it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's a good thing to know. And that's what I use just about every time I go out and make my fires. I always like to use the fat wood like that. And uh, you notice it's got black smoke. It's all that uh, sap burning off. One thing you don't want to do is cook over pine because of all that sap in it. Leave a lot of residue on your cookware. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll see you again.